Pretty good, eh? Okay, so let's start by balancing on your right foot and hold the club here opposite your hips. Just balance uh, up on your right foot with your left toe there, that's it. You want to feel a little bit where the right side's already underneath. Yep, okay. Your hands about opposite your belt buckle. Yep. Bend from your hip. Okay, now left foot ball placement, right foot. That's it. You feel, if we just were a little, you, 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 this is called a wag, you see? Right. Your right hand pushes bent, see how it's, mm -hmm. it's pushing up underneath your left shoulder. Okay. And, and it swivels around, and that's the back swing. Then gravity comes down and it rotates back. Okay. It doesn't quite back, get back to square. Because that's winding up the back swing, the start of the down swing and the release coming down. Let's just bring that there. Now there's a dress. What I, what I want you to do is just relax. I want you to push a little against the club forward and just feel your left hip and left leg straighten. Your right foot just stay very anchored. It's really simple. The left leg just straightens, the right, the right knee stays still, the right foot stays very anchored. Now if you go a little bit lower here, just let that feel a little bit. So you really just, let's go back to again and dress and just feel that. Okay, left, the left hip, really, there you go. Just really bends. It right. doesn't go forward, okay. it goes down more rather than forward. Yes, uh, okay. So we're finding the beginning of impact. Right. Now all we do now is straighten the right arm. Okay. And, and, that's, and as the right arm straightens, the left hand, this left wrist is feeling like the last three fingers are curling like that. So, so there's the, that's the impact zone. Okay. So instead of going like this, mm -hmm. you get the right arm extension and the left wrist release. So let me demonstrate it for you. So, again, make sure you've got the good setup. Right elbow bent, right arm, right elbow pointing down. Now there's the dress, and all I do is just push. See, I'm actually doing this with my shoulders as the hips turn. Mm -hmm. So when I just get that little feeling, now the right elbow went from a little bit bent to a lot bent, you see? Now that, that extra bend Will allow me to expand there, and that that area there is called the impact zone. So there's a dress. That's the beginning of impact. That's the impact zone. Now, when I got the end of that, if I keep the thumbs down and keep pushing, the body turn releases up through the ball. And this is your lesson here: is to be able to get everything to go through here, so that there's no breakdown. So if I looked at it towards the camera. As a drill, there's a dress, beginning of impact, end of impact. Now, thumbs still stay pointing down, and I just let the rotation of the left hand rotate over as the right side releases up. This is called follow through, and then, oops. So, the feeling is that this wrist is always, the shaft's always in that line, it never breaks down that way. Okay, and that's your lesson from tonight, called release through impact through follow through. Okay, so you're going to hit a golf ball or two. Just do a couple more practice swings here, then we're going to hit a golf ball.